poly is drying, and can you see that beautiful sheen? There's no light on in here, just the natural light outside. But just look how beautiful just that top is looking. You can really see it reflecting the, uh, the sunlight. Hey friends, it's Sonia. Welcome into my living room. This uh, buffet turned TV stand is sitting right here in the middle um, and I'm about to go ahead and finish it off and then move it back into place under my television. Do you see that beautiful sheen on the top? Oh, I love it. I did a quick layer of our Banana Peel Glossy Poly uh, live when I was putting on this beautiful tr uh, furniture transfer. Here's a little video of me applying the top, by the way. You said my world And I love coming back in here. She's smiling now. I mean, look at that. That is legit two eyeballs and a smile. You cannot not unsee that now that I've said that, right? So one of my favorite ways to, or the top, the best way to seal furniture transfers is definitely going to be with our Junk Monkey paint, our brand of top coat. It is called Banana Peel. So just like a peel protects the banana, it's the carrying case for the you know, scrumptious fruit itself. Um, this also provides a beautiful protective layer for that transfer and that paint job that you just put on. If you're looking at this and you're like, yeah, but that scratches. That was just the style of this beautiful transfer. You guys know that I love distressed furniture. So this transfer actually just feels to me like a beautiful, I think Matt described it as like a really cool rug, definitely boho chic. And, um, and I will go ahead and link this transfer down below, but you can see that this was like part of the beautiful design because right there is one. And then I used two transfers for that. So there's the second one, much like this little distress mark down here. We love it. And you'll find it over here because this is a, like I said, a furniture transfer. Two of them use back to back. And I also went ahead and I did a whole bunch of joins and stuff, like to be able to connect it all up. One of the reasons I really like this transfer, oh, could I tell you all the reasons, uh, is that it's so easy to be able to cut into place and to like really just, Honestly, just use the remnants of anything that you have. So you're gonna see over here, like in some places, for example, right here, you can see that this is where I joined a piece here, I joined a piece here, but you see how it's all, like you can't tell what's joins and what's not joins because um, yeah, it's, it's just all done in this really cool style. Like over here, I went ahead and I messed up a little bit, so I just cut a piece out. But if I didn't really point that out to you from afar, you wouldn't have seen that. It's just all a beautiful, organized chaos mess of just mm, distress colors and love. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and put on my second coat um, to really give it a beautiful, you know, even more um, protective finish. I like to do at least two coats, but just putting that one coat on, I mean, here's a quick video of me scratching into it. I'm not trying to obviously ruin my piece, but I just kinda wanna show you guys that, um, you know, and you're obviously not gonna be rough on your painted pieces, but just to kind of show you just how protective the uh, banana peel is because not only does it suck down into your wood pours, into your furniture transfer, and look how clear that is, but it also leaves a beautiful covering, a layer, a clear band-aid, if you wanna call it that, on top of your piece. And that gives it a really cool finish, but also really protects your transfer. All right, we're gonna go back into my poly. I don't have a whole lot left. As you can tell, it goes a long way. And I'm gonna grab my favorite brush. What's up, babe? 
Oh, I'm talking to the puppy dogs. So I like to use this brush. You can tell this one's got a lot of love into it, but I like to keep one for my paint usually and one for my poly. Now this is not a light project, so if there would be any paint pigments in here from the last project I did, if they drop, you're probably not gonna see it anyhow, so I'm cool with that. But um, it's always good to keep one brush separate from another, and the reason being is that, let's say for example, if this was a white piece that I was about to poly, well, if I last paint it with blue in, in here, then some blue could come down from my um, my poly match in with it come down from the uh, the actual this part up here of the brush and before you know it you're put you're putting on a blue uh, sheen of poly that you probably never intended to do oh I love it so this actually uh, looks like that milky white color this is your guide so you can know what you have polyed what you haven't polyed I'm going in long brush strokes as you can see and um, I'm just taking a minute if I go back over to fix up my poly lines to get them nice and straight I'm really doing a quick swipe of the brush going back and then moving on so we're gonna keep on Keep on keeping on and go down all over here to get our second coat. So if the first coat was super protective, guess what the second coat is gonna be? Even better, just the way I love it. Somebody asked me this morning that, hey, if you ever want it to change out, for example, a piece like this um, down the road and say you wanna change it to a different color. I mean, this is kind of like my, my two year transformation of this piece, adding something else onto it. Here's an example of me just, um, you know, doing the long brush strokes, carrying it over to keep my poly just, just nice for a nice finish. Um, yes, you can definitely paint over this. If I were to down the road, go ahead and be like, okay, I'm over this print. I want to change it up. I want to put leopard print on here, or I just want to paint it solid. I'm going to paint my entire buffet again and do it, um, completely over with, with like, for example, black velvet or something. Let me straighten up those lines and connect them in. If I were to uh, do that, all I would do is grab a um, sand block and I would buff it over just a little bit, dust it off, and then grab my junk monkey paint and go bananas. Easy peasy. You know, it shouldn't be hard um, painting furniture because you know that you can change it out at any time, right? It's just paint. It's just paint. Have fun with it. You can tell this is not the right top for this, but hey, that's real life. All right, let me just put this down here for a second and get this off the edge. All right, let's go back into this a little bit. We don't want to get it on the rug and finish off our corner here. I'm swiping in and doing at least two coats. That way, you know, between the first coat and the second coat, it helps you get the full coverage. So if you miss some spots, chances are in the second coat, you know, your brush is going to fill those in. So at least two to three coats is ideal. And uh, just like, you know, there's strength in numbers, there's strength in every single layer of the banana peel that you put on. Now look right here. See, gravity happens. It's okay. We got to get it. So I do my top and then I'll go around and just kind of lap up all these edges right here. Then go about my day, let it, like right here, I have time to go ahead and swipe those. I hear puppies. And that's out cutting trees today. And this is the back, which nobody sees, but we still want to get those drippy drips. Perfect. And then I come around again because gravity likes to continue to happen. Get that nice and Swept in there good. Get our corner. I like to do just light touches if I need my brush to pick back up a drip. Let's do a check. Light touch. Perfect. Pull that in. I'm not gonna swipe over the top of this because if I swiped over the top of this right now, I could be ruining my poly job. You put it down, nice long, long strokes, you move quickly, long, long, long brush movements, let it go. You are better off putting on um, two to three light coats versus one big heavy coat. And that's how you just get that beautiful buildup and um, just a really nice finish. The poly is drying and can you see that beautiful sheen? There's no light on in here, just the natural light outside. 
but just look how beautiful just that top is looking. You can really see it reflecting the, uh, the sunlight and it's just settling quite nice and clearing up just the way we love. This is the transfer that I used for this project. And I'll link it below as well.